there are many names that God gives men. God is not careless in naming men certain things. He called Abraham my friend. You know what it means to be a friend of God? We are not discussing that. But do not downplay that status. If a man is called a friend of God, it is a very serious commendation. There are some things that will not happen to you again when you become a friend of God. For instance, you cannot be lost again. It is a privilege for you to be lost. God will take you, even if it's an untimely death, but you will not be lost again. It is a status and an honor when a man is called a friend of God. hallelujah the second thing that you earn as the friend of god is that there is nothing he does within his program that he will keep you outside of that information that's what happened to abraham shall i hide this from abraham he had to come and tell abraham this is what i want to do to sodom and gomorrah and abraham says stop i have an interest there do not go yet there is somebody's interest that I need to protect. And he literally negotiated the salvation of Lot and his family. The friend of God. So you now understand what he meant when he told the apostles. He said, I no longer call you servants, but friends. They didn't even know what he was saying. That is the reason why even in heaven, the foundation of the new Jerusalem has their name. The names of the 12 apostles can you imagine that let's get back to what we're discussing the purity of your heart let me show you a scripture second chronicles 25 1 and 2 second chronicles 25 1 and 2 a very interesting story about a king called amaziah we're going to read verse 1 and 2 together. Are we ready? 1, 2, read please. Amaziah was 20 and 5 years old when he began to reign. And he reigned 20 and 9 years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Jehoiada of Jerusalem. Now read verse 2 as loud as you can. 1, to read. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord but not with a perfect heart. One more time. What kind of a statement is this? How can you do what was right in the sight of the Lord? And then the Lord says, even though this was right, there is still a problem with it. The problem was not the correctness of the activity. The problem was the state of the heart that executed it. That a man can preach correctly and yet be found wanting in the spirit. A man can do evangelism correctly and still be found wanting in the spirit. You can build ministry correctly and still be found wanting. The Bible says, give us that scripture. <laughs> he did what was right in the sight of the Lord. But there was a, tr a problem. He was not a fake man of God. He was not a fake prophet. He was not a fake apostle. He was not a fake preacher. Genuine. You would come and see him preach and you would be so convicted by his message. And yet in marking his script, the Lord gives us the marking standard that beyond the correctness of a man's activity, the first thing that is marked in the spirit is the state of your heart. Never forget this scripture for the rest of your life. You can fast right. You can pray right. You can give right. You can preach right. You can do business right. And be surprised that in spite of the correctness of your activity, heaven still finds you wanting Amaziah he served he did what was right in the sight of the Lord but not with a perfect heart hmm.
the purity of a man's heart is the principal determinant of your doing business with God of your being used by God mightily used by God beyond your activities God looks at the state of your heart every man you see that God has used and is using greatly I can tell you whether you believe it or not there is something God has found about the sincerity of their heart no wonder in choosing vessels by the time you see God's selection you will be angry because when God is done choosing the kinds of people they do not match what you would have wanted it does not make sense are we together now do you know the reason why Jonah ran away from the instruction God gave him there was something about God Jonah knew that out of these depraved people who were idol worshippers who were insincere people that if you went and he preached to them that as bad as they were their hearts were still pure because their activity was a product of their orientation and they had not been given a chance yet to declare whether they love God or not and so God seemed to have an interest in a terrible nation called Nineveh and Jonah knew this that God will look beyond the wrongness of their activity that in spite of the fact that that land was in decadence the purity of their heart was crying for help and he said Jonah go to them and Jonah said I know something about God by the time I now preach these people will repent and he will forgive them as if he did not see anything they did and Jonah ran away immediately Jonah ran away he became an enemy of God there's no time I would have taught you what it means to be an enemy of God to be an enemy of God does not mean to be satanic the moment you become an a consistent interruption to his program even if he's the one who ordained you you become an enemy of God so when you are praying the prayer let God arise and all his enemies verify first that you are not one of them did you hear what I said Jonah was not a fake prophet but because he became an interruption to God's program in Nineveh look at how merciless his judgment came people received prophet Jonah into their boat and started going down they lost their businesses they lost their relevance they were about to lose their lives how can a mighty prophet be the reason for the downfall of many if you know God, you will know that it's not about being fake or real. It's about being in his program or outside of his program. Hmm. So in the moment you say, I am a genuine man of God, to mean because I am a genuine man of God, God's program must be advanced through my life. You are in error. There are many genuine people who are interruptions to God's program. Are you learning now? Yes. How can Jonah, a, the Bible never charged Jonah with falsehood. The Bible never charged Jonah with idolatry. And yet, because he refused to go and preach to Nineveh, a land that he was justifiably angry. These were a people rating by their activities. They were wicked people, yet their hearts were pure. You now see why Jesus taught in the Beatitudes, blessed are the pure in there is a reward for them he says they shall see God that the purity in heart is a requirement for encounters my God that means someone can be smoking and can be drinking and God is looking beyond that wickedness and he's looking at the state of his heart and the language of his heart is saying I need a savior and Jesus Christ will come and appear to that gentleman under a bridge and say I have come to visit you and you are wondering why another person is fasting three days dry and may never have an encounter the, I hope you know that the heart of men has a voice say not in your heart a man's heart can have a voice beyond the activities of men God listens to the heart of man I can pretend here and be doing a lot of religiosity and saying oh apostle joshua selman this is a humble man of god and then heaven is watching while all that religious drama is happening just to make a name heaven and is hearing the voice of pride the voice of unseriousness 
Are we learning now? No wonder in selecting the one who would be the king, David. I hope you know David's being a man after God's heart did not just happen when he was king. It was why he was called in the first place. That gentleman was in the wilderness where nobody saw him, nobody could clap for him, and yet he defended his father's sheep. Even at the expense of his life, with nobody to see, and he did not come back and tell his father, this is what happened. When it was time to anoint, even the great Samuel, with his height of discernment, was about to make a mistake. And God said, hold on. This is not how I judge. If you were to judge Eliab and all his brothers, you would see them as people of stature and intelligence. Are we together now? And yet that was not how God judged them. 